Hey everybody, it's Justin Shackle with Yankees On Demand, presented by AT&T. We're catching up with Aaron Judge inside the Yankees dugout, and man, you have not slowed down one bit to start 2018. What is it about your approach these days that just allowed you to begin this season playing so well? You know, the biggest thing is the, the team I'm on. You know, the great players I'm surrounded by every day. You know, we've got a great pitching staff, but the biggest thing is just our offense. I mean, I, all i got to do and all i got to focus on is just getting on first base for those guys and, you know, let them do the rest. Now, you've broken a lot of records over the last two years, and I know you said they don't mean much in the grand scheme of things as it pertains to getting this team some wins, but do you look at some of those accomplishments when you may need that little reassurance about your approach? Not really. You know, I try to, you know, put all my confidence in my preparation for the games. You know, if I prepare the right way, you know, do all the swings, get ready, get mentally ready for the game, you know, I feel like I'll be in a good position to go out there and play. You know, all those records and stuff like that, it's, for me, that just reflects on, you know, the people around me, the support I've had, you know, from Little League, you know, the coaches I've had in travel ball, the coaches I've had, you know, in the minor league system here, even at the major league level, you know, who've helped me and kind of, you know, turn me into the person I am today, you know. So when I, all those records that I break, you know, it's really just, it's a group effort. I think I know people realize you can bring it with the glove in right field, but people don't talk about your defense nearly as much. I want to know, and you can only pick one here, what is the better feeling for Aaron Judge, putting a run up on the scoreboard or taking one off? Oh, putting a run up, of course. You know, you always want to put up runs, you know, but I get it's a pretty satisfying feeling, you know, either robbing a home run or, you know, diving for a ball in the gap and, you know, holding a runner at second base. It's a lot of fun, but uh, definitely putting a, a run on the board is the go-to. When you see how patient this Yankee lineup has become one through nine over the last two years with, with you up in the majors, what stands out about that? It just shows it's a team effort. You know, guys go up there and if they're kind of getting pitched around, you know, they're not trying to go out there and do too much. They're, they'll take their walks when they want to. You know, they'll work the count a little bit. You know, that's why... You know, a lot of teams we face, you know, we're getting the starters out of the game within the, you know, fourth, fifth inning, you know, pretty early and getting to that bullpen early, you know, and usually when you get to that bullpen early, you know, good things will happen. And it just shows, you know, the kind of trust, you know, everybody has on this team and each other. You got a new manager in 2018. How has Aaron Boone come in and made his mark on this team in the early going? Boone has just been Booney, always supporting us. You know, he communicates well with all the players. You know, he's joking around, he's having fun, he keeps the clubhouse light. And, you know, it's great to have that in a manager. You know, but he's also competing. You know, it's I see him getting in here in the dugout. He gets fired up at times. You know, he gets excited. Uh, he gets on us a little bit. And it's, it's just a fun guy to be around and a great manager so far. Going through that deep run in October, what experiences from that do you take with you into 2018? Just the whole playoff atmosphere. You know, the Bronx became a different animal in the playoffs. You know, we always had a lot of fans coming to our games during the regular season, but once the playoffs came, you could just feel a different energy in the stadium, a different... The, the, the stadium felt alive, and you know, I can't really describe it, you know, and for all of us, you know, just getting that experience at a young age, you know, we got a pretty young team, it, we're just going to feed off that coming into this year, you know, so when we go into certain ball games, you know, playing, you know, the Red Sox at Fenway, or when we play Red Sox here, and the stadium's packed and it's rocking, you know, we're used to that atmosphere, we're used to that energy, you know, we feed off the energy, and it's it's a fun place to play. There's no better place to play than here in playoffs. Staying hungry as always. Aaron, thanks for the time. Thank you.